Hi guys, welcome to Monocure 3D Pro Tips. In today's episode, we're gonna work out how to get your models from the computer onto the printer using Chai 2 Box. Let me show you how. Okay, so we need to download Chai 2 Box. Go to chai2box.com. It'll open up the home page. Go to this download button and that will open up this page here. Then you select what operating system that you have or you'd like Chai 2 Box to work with. I've obviously got a Mac. Follow the normal steps that you would to download any program and load it onto the computer. Once you have it installed, uh, you then open it up. I've got mine open already. You can see here that's a representation of the build platform. Now, the most important thing and the first thing we need to do is to change uh, the setup for the Elegoo Mars. So you come over here to settings and you can see here I've already got a couple of them loaded but it's really easy to add a new printer. You just click that add button there, add a new printer. Now there's a list here, there's any cubics, the Creality's, there's the Elegoo. So you click that little arrow and out pops their different printers. The Elegoo Mars is just there so uh, we click on that one it even shows you a picture of it, which is pretty handy. And we hit OK. And you can see there it's brought in another one. Um, it's called it number two because I've got a couple more there already. For now, you can see that these are the settings that uh, Elegoo have given Chai 2 Box for all the resolution settings and the size settings are all set. So you don't need to worry about that. And we can have a look at the resin settings and the print settings in a moment. The first thing we need to do is to bring a model to print onto the plate. So let's do that by uh, going up here to open file. Today I'm gonna pick this matrix. Uh, I like these calibration models. So we use these a lot in the lab uh, and for development work and for QC. They're very fast to print, but they show you a lot of information. Uh, they, you know, these little, these little fins just in this area here show you uh, very good detail. Uh, you know, you look for things like these letters being filled in or, you know, the D in there being uh, too much resin in there, which would mean that, you know, the part was over cured. But let's not get bogged down into that too much. Let's move on to how we get this onto the printer and we get it, get it printing. That's what we're here for. So just quickly here, this is uh, a good little tool to look at. It's showing you the uh, slicing, uh, the la by layer by layer. So you can see that that's layer zero. Um, and then we go up to the layers as it, as it slices and prints through. So it's good just to really check that first layer is a, on the plate. Sometimes you can bring a model in and it isn't quite on the plate and that will obviously not adhere. So just make sure that first layer is on the plate and then we can get going. Back, back to settings, the next thing we need to do is look at the resin type. Here we need to add the Monocure resin profile. That's very simple. Uh, you just go add a new profile, a new profile pops up. You can edit the name of that profile. And let's call it Monocure 3D Rapid. And then hit enter. So then that's saved that. Now we need to change the settings. So you can decide how much this resin costs and that will help work out how much each print costs depending on how much uh, resin the print's gonna use. So that's quite clever. So 75 now, that's of course Australian dollars. Now you can change that symbol there. So depending on what country you're in uh, or what currency you're using, you can change that, which is quite handy. Um, so the next thing is print. Now this is obviously pretty important. This is the settings that you need for the Monocure resin. I would like to print at 0.5. You can go to 0.05 or 0.025 or 0.010 if you'd like to go very fine. I find uh, 0.05 or 50 microns a, a very good height for resin printing and for our resin in particular. So the bottom layer count, let's change that to four. That's plenty. Exposure time, we'll leave that on eight for now. Bottom exposure, 60, especially if you've got the black painted build plate. If you don't have the black painted build plate, you probably could go to 45. Um, light off delay, we'll put one second there and bottom light off delay one second. So that's going to mean that after the, the layer has printed for eight seconds, it's going to delay for one second before it starts to lift. So the bottom lift distance is five millimetres and the lifting distance is five millimetres for the normal lift. Uh, they're both fine. 
and the speeds and the lifting speeds and the track speeds are fine. You can play around with them if you want, but these settings all will work, work fine with our resin. Infill, leave that to none. Advanced, you can add this if you'd like. It's meant to smooth the layers or the build lines. Um, I usually don't use, leave it on. I have played around with it. I can't notice much difference to be honest with you, but it's worth having a play with and, and, and seeing if you think it does make a difference to the print or not. So there you go, um, these settings will be down below so you don't have to pause, we'll, we'll put a screenshot down below in the description that you can grab these. It doesn't have a save button which is interesting, so you don't need to save this, it automatically saves. So just by closing that box next time you open it, uh, it all that information that we put in there will, will, will remain. The next thing we need to do is slice this file so we can get it into the printer and what that's actually doing is it's slicing each layer. Uh, and, and telling the printer exactly what to print for each layer. If you hit the slice button, you can see it's working away down here. And it's a very thin and simple model, this, so that took no time at all. We didn't speed that up, uh, that was a time. But Chai 2 Box actually is very quick for slicing. I have used other programs which are quite slow. This is really good, this slider here. It's like the other one, shows you representation, but shows you exactly what hole or mat shape the screen is going to cut to print per layer. So again, look at that first layer. Is there something there? Yes, there is. That's a good sign. And then the last layer and that all looks like it's all there and, and yeah, ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is you can just, I like this feature here, you can just double check, just showing you, and you can actually change it at this stage here as well, um, which is quite good. So if you wanted to change that to seven seconds, you had a change of heart or you, you know, leave it on eight. Um, or change the lift distance or the lift speed, you can do that all here, which is kind of handy. So the next thing we do is just very simply hit the save button. That will bring up the file window. Here it's got the disk uh, that we've got from the back of the Elegu Mars, which is just called No Name. Uh, there's some other prints that are already on there. So let's call this a unique name so I remember what to call it. What about disk demo? And then hit save. Now down here it's writing the file or saving the file uh, to that USB. You can see the USB there working away. I've disconnected that. We can pull that out now. We put that in there and we can turn the printer on. We just very simply hit the print button and then there it is there. And then to start it printing, you just hit the play button and you can see the build plate's going down and it's going to start doing that first that first bottom layer. Thanks for watching guys, there you have it, how to get the print from the laptop onto the printer and start printing with Chai 2 Box. It's really simple, we'll put everything down in the description. Make sure you subscribe to the channel but most importantly remember to keep on 3D printing.